This is a three-year-old. When I train two-year-olds and three-year-olds, I always try to keep my reins crisscrossed like that. Um, and the reason that I do that is because I feel like when I keep them like this, as I watch videos, I start to struggle with my right turn. So when I stop, if the cow's there and I stop here and I'm turning back to the right, that they'll start to almost come, you know, start with that shoulder and turn a little inside out because we're holding the reins right here with this. So then that reins always just a little bit kinked. So I feel like I, you know, you get it. They'll curl in on the right side and turn inside out through this way. So this just helps me Just like that, I want him to know my feet and my hands. Everything's soft, just like that right there. Everything's soft. Stay soft. Hold that left leg right there. He wanted to kind of walk forward right there, so I was gonna use that left leg to kind of straighten him up right there. Then he's back at a good angle, so I can start back. That's good, I liked him. Play with that cow right there. Get that confidence, play with that cow. Same thing. I'm gonna to start to drive him up. I'm gonna start with my right foot, drive him straight up at this cow. Let him have it right there, just a little bit. Let him gain that, let him figure this out. That's okay, he's out there just a little bit. Let him kind of keep figuring it out. Whereas on that first cow, you mentioned if they land and they're a little bit long, you, and the cow standing still, you can just drag them back across. Yep. Is that to shorten them up or is that just to help soften them? I, I think both. I think that sometimes a horse, when they get long, they know, hey, I'm a little bit, and you know, I don't supposed to be out here. So I think by two things, I think when you take them back across that cow, then that usually that cow will go back that way. And then you come back with that cow and chase it. So it makes that horse cowier by doing that then I think it helps that horse knowing not to panic once he's